afternoon. Welcome to the press conference of the film Lamo, Jugabe, Lamo and uh, Scalbe, which is a film in the official section in competition in the 67th edition of the San Sebastian International Film Festival. To talk to the film about the film, we have with us all of the most of its creative uh, the crew. We've got the people on the. Excuse me if I pronounce my. My Chinese isn't that good, but I'll do it again. We've got the producers, Chen Zhujian, Chui Chin Chuang, Fen Chiang two of the actors, the kid and son and and Son Thargyal and the uh, so, so Sonam Nima and the director Son Thargyal. Before starting, perhaps it would be very good if Son Thargyal could introduce us about this film, La Muyugabe, and what drew him uh, to the project. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Santa Giel. I'm the film. Uh, I'm the director of the film. It's the first time that I've come to this beautiful country here in Spain. And thank you very to, to this film. I have the privilege of being able to be here with you. This film, we started to shoot it last year in my, uh, well, in my um, town and in my uh, region. It was a very complicated shoot. There were a lot of difficulties, but after seeing it today here in the festival, I think everything that we've gone through has been worthwhile. This is part of the pleasure of making and the fun of making films. Thank you. Okay, if there are any questions, we can start now. Yes, we have a question here in the third row. Here, the, there's the microphone. Thank you. I'd like you to ask them, please, if they can situate the film a bit vis-a-vis -vis time, place, and then also explain that parallelism between the, the Tibetan uh, play the life of theirs and that fight between the modern world and the ancient world which he demonstrates quite clearly with the family of the young people and the elderly people two things in that situation yes okay yes that's it La película. The film was shot where I was born in the, the region I was born in, which is in the Tibet, Tibet between 1800 and 3000 meters altitude and a splanade in the south. And we shot it in winter in the month of February. 里面的这个藏戏是一个藏族人家喻呼啸的一个传统的剧目，这是一个围绕哥萨尔的这么一个音讯人物，他有很多版本，其中我用在这个。
呃，电影里面的这个剧作是格萨尔的妻子，也就是阿达拉姆曹德基所扮演的这个女星，因为时间她活着的时候干了很多呃坏事，所以堕入到地狱以后，她格萨尔去到地狱去超度这个她自己的妻子的这么一个剧目。呃，我小的时候，差不多小学的时候，就用通过藏语来看这个，呃，大概是一百多页左右，就是藏族的一个传统。但是在藏区的这个文化氛围里面，每个人都知道，而且是比喻坏女人的形象的时候，就是经常会用这个阿达拉姆的这个角色来形容这个女性的毒辣和就是坏的一部分吧。对。The opera is based upon a, a traditional Tibetan Opera, which is called the Epic, Epic of King Gesar, and Gesar was a hero in in the opera. He appears; re, re, his wife is represented, who in life did a series of uh, bad things, and she went to hell. Her husband uh, Gesar went down to hell to rescue her, to save her, and he says when he was small, he read. This play or opera, and there was it's one hundred pages long, and almost everyone in the area of Tibet knows this play or opera, and it represents the idea of bad women who do things that are negative, and how how they resolve these problems in that work of that work or play. 前面加上阿道，就是意味着一个又得堕入到地狱的一个坏女人，就是一个名字的之差，就是区别特别大，对。嗯。The name of the protagonist in the film Llamo means fairy in Spanish. It's something positive. It's something good. The second name, I'm not too sure how it is, but it has to do with something like like hell, which is something. Yes, the first other, which is fairy, which is something other, which is something good, and the second, which is something which is horrible or very negative. The, the both names together create these two aspects. 呃，哥萨尔的这个传说就是一个英雄人物，而且我现在了解的话，其实应该是世界上最长的史史。但是我们在文学课里面，西方文学的这个脉络里面是荷马史诗是最长的史诗，因为哥萨尔的这个是围绕着这个英雄英雄人物，然后呢，他目前整理出来的只有。故事有一百多本书，现在还在整理这个史诗。Talking about Gesar, the epic king of King Gesar, it's a legend in which it portrays a hero, and it is the longest known piece of theater, and it said there are more than a hundred books. Which are still being studied at the present moment. In traditional plays, he considers it to be the longest that exists. From what I know, it's the longest, most epic uh, poem in the world. And the parallelism and the contrast between the present and the past in the work. Uh, uh, the story, this story 每个人都有思考的时候，我觉得是这就达到作为导演的这种目的了。但是传统的这种东西多了以后呢，反而有对剧作层面
呃，人与人的文化、文化之间有这种理解上面的障碍，所以呢，有用克制的、选择性的用了这么几个片段。对，嗯哼。Culturally speaking, there's no standard between what's good and bad, or good and evil. There's nothing correct or incorrect. That culturally speaking, he used very few uh, cultural aspects because what he could use was very reduced. So it's simply he's just simply used certain aspects of that uh, play in the film. So therefore, not the entire story. The contrast between the modern woman that, uh, in, that portrays the role and the stereotype of a negative woman you see in the film. No, the contrast. She, she, she's a modern world that portrays that character. Okay.呃，戏剧里面的的那个情节。啊，明白，明白，明白。就是说，就是他在现实里面扮演，必须得扮演一个，不是说扮演，就是说他生活向往是一个非常美好的女人，恰恰她扮了这个角色，一个角色是一个非
这是演员的，他希望演员回答。嗯，应该也有。然后呢，还有一个的话，肯定怎么说呢？这个呃，一个演员嘛，然后呃，接到了一个导演这样的一个剧本，然后呃，体验到呃，从另外一个角色世界里面去寻找。然后还有一个的话，因为呃。各种的这种文化的这种碰撞是很多，就可能呃老一辈的人他可能会是传统的一种呃生活，那可能是现在时代发的发就是时代发展，然后可能年轻人有呃新的一些想法，所以呢可能会呃有一些碰撞，对。Yes, that it, it was a big challenge. To portray this role for for him, because there is a series of cultural collisions between both generations: the generation of the parents, the grandparents, and the young people who have new ideas. And that cultural shock does exist at the present moment. Yes. 有有的地方嘛，也有可能会各种的这种啊文化的冲突，所以可能就会也有会啊很多人去呃用传统的方式这样。那可能也有很多人呢，就是比较，呃，年轻化、时尚化，也可能又不太的这个，就是，呃，那些怎么说呢？就可能一个人喜欢一个人的话，他肯定会，呃，付出所有的这个，然后当中就会碰到了各种各样的一些，这个不容易，对。There are cultural conflicts also in different fields. For example, you've got the more traditional type people and the young people. Who are a bit more rebellious and would do everything or anything for love. 碰撞对于说这个可能就是很难说，所以大家去好好的去理解对。And also, this cultural conflict is very difficult to talk about them. That's neither good or bad or good or evil. Everyone can have their own idea as regards the subject. <laughs> Sí, ella no quería decir nada. Eh, di que ya voy a hacer esta idea. Oh, voy a hacer esta idea. Para los dos, la pregunta. Hola, hola. Yo soy el personaje de Lamu. Hola, hola. 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 通过刚刚导演讲的这个故事，《格萨尔瓦》戏里面的一个阿达拉姆的一个角色，有影射出现在我们藏族女性的生活。有些时候就是，嗯，比如说大环境之下，大家都会说，为了父亲，为了呃，为了自己的母亲，为了自己的整个家庭和哥哥或者嫂子的面子，他可能去就是选择了呃隐瞒他是一个母亲的真实身份。然后呢，这也就是。他心里的一个一个一个矛盾吧，呃，然后就是呃，就像那个在地狱里面一样，他觉得他隐瞒这个，他就是他的生活永远都不安宁不舒服。他就是通过这个跟嘎贝之间的恋爱的这个关系，然后呃，他也在就是像阿达拉姆在地狱里面就是救赎自己一样去。追寻自己，这就是他跟阿达拉姆两个相同的一点。就不同的一点是，阿达拉姆是希望他自己的呃丈夫去救救赎他，然后拉姆呢是他自己争取自己去寻找自己。有些时候很多大环境和呃大的这种价值观下，嗯，就会按照他哎别人说什么，别人说什么，大家觉得是什么，就我我也自然就应该觉得哎。是不是我也应该这样活？但是他在这样的过程当中，他很不舒服，然后他就就努力挣脱，呃，然后慢慢的去接受他自己呃母亲的这个事实。所以我觉得拉姆这个角色呢，也是嗯代表现在的一个藏族女人的一个呃新时代的一个女人的一个角色，去呃追寻自我的一个一个一个这样的一个角色。包括我现在也是啊，我们。怎么说呢？比如说，呃，演戏啊，藏族人也很少，但是我们依依然很努力去去这个去呃呃，怎么说呢？就是学习表演，对，差不多大概是这个样子。嗯，谢谢。
，还有就是，呃，最后拉姆那个很搞笑，就是有些时候他他分不清楚里面的阿德拉姆和他本身这个。拉姆是谁？所以那个村长就是我们在那里就是拍戏的时候，正好嘎贝把那个喝醉了，电给弄断了，所以他就觉得他自己没有被救度，然后就是很执着，就有些时候他分不清他是真的是拉姆还是他是生活当中的阿达拉姆，所以他就就是很执着，也也很可爱的地方，很单纯，然后去找那个呃。村长说：“就是，哎，你一定要再重新演一次。我今年一定要把这个演完。我一定要从这个地狱里面，就是呃，自我救赎。所以这也是他很单纯、很可爱的一个地方。呃，就像那个呃，最后呃，拉姆那个唱的歌，其实他就是寻求自我、找到自我的一个。”就唱的，不知道大家有没有听，需不需要我再唱一首最后那首那个藏戏？可以可以，特别热闹。先翻译一下不？可以可以，没问题。OK OK， 翻译一下，翻译。There are two women, the actress of the play Atalamu, I think Ataklamu. And then you've got the the woman, the women, Lamu, is a is an actress of a tradition Tibetan uh, theatre and play, and also represents the life of uh, modern women in Tibet. It's a way of representing how the woman is a woman is nowadays in Tibet. But then, you, on the one hand, you've got the traditional side due to the representation of what might, people might say or hearsay. Because of the father and the husband, she hides certain information. For example, that that she has a, a young son. Uh, this is an internal conflict for her because she's hiding part of her life, but at the same time, she's not the traditional person that she she lives to be. The same thing happens. With the per the actress in the play, who is like in hell because she's done bad things in life or evil things in life, and she goes to hell. And she made a comparison between the real life of the actress, hiding a lot of things, and it's a hell for her. Just like it's hell for the actress in the play, to be in hell itself, because of what she's done because of what she's done in her life. The difference lies is that the woman in real life wants to save herself, whereas the woman in the play waits for the husband to save her. That's the great difference there. This way of living makes her feel uncomfortable to the real woman, but she's making an effort to accept the fact that she's a mother and accept. That that's her son, and and she repeats, and she's trying to do this in order to find. It's a personal search within herself. The same thing happens to to them, the Tibetans, the Tibetans when they try to enter into the world uh, of performance. They've got to put make a great effort in order to be accepted and to be, form part of the world and perform as actors. Just like she's mentioned, the husband at the end gets drunk and he cuts the electrical wires, and that's why there's the wires are cut so there's no light on the stage. And and it's a very simple part of the woman who after the play. And after having the light coming down, they're going to leave it until the next year to finish off the play. But she goes to the head of the region of that town because she wants to continue. She wants to finish. She wants to finish the play because that's the more naive part or innocent part of the actress. And at the end, the song at the end is. What she's trying to do is to represent. She's seeking herself and. And she would like to know whether you were able to experience that and understand this, because she's looking into herself 
to what she really is in reality. And a question, in that final ritual that you're talking about when she sings, the first time we see her in the play, she's an evil woman who's in, in hell. And the feeling at the end is she's a woman who's a nice, she uses a term, could you explain, lakini, I don't know what that means. Dakini, you're talking about the actress. Yes, no, the character of Lamo in the last the scene of the film. But that final song, she doesn't dem show herself as a negative or a woman, but a very positive woman. I don't know why that occurs. Why? How did that evolve? Dakini is the word that appears in the subtitles. I'm not too sure how it is in the original text. Uh,他应该说是就是,呃,有勇气去面对和承担自己所做的责任。这样的一个角色。然后,所以,我最后唱的歌本来是,呃,那个藏系阿达拉姆的词儿,但是就是,呃,最后展现的时候是,其实,词
传统，然后大家对他们的预期所预期呃之间的一个一个斟酌，他们两个在那边斟酌。呃，然后最后他们呃只只能通过呃透过这个接受过去，接受彼此的过去，然后用往前看才能得到幸福啊。他想呃跟您确认一下，是不是这样的一个一个故事？这个我觉得导演回答比较好，因为是一个比较开放的结局。你那个脸。The director, I'm sure, will explain it much better because it's his work. 就是说，不一定是一个完美的一个我们印象里面的一个爱情故事。开始的时候，因为这个结婚的时间，而每个人的过去是慢慢的敞开这么一个故事。比如说，德基，我们道德层面也不能否定她是一个坏女人或者糟糕的女人。每个人都是不同的国家、不同的地域，每个青春期，每个人会犯错误，有很多。过去时，我们不能以道德的来，它是一个坏的或者是这样的东西。但是这种东西也不能归责于他。后面他有他的母亲，为了他们家族的那种面子，东方人可能会明白这个面子是意味着什么，但是西方人可能是不太在乎这个东西。但是这也是没有对和错这个分，这仅仅就是一个文化的渡劫方式。所以我觉得是，呃，他们两个就为了结婚的事儿，就是每个人的过去是慢慢的展开，这个是我觉得是挺有意思的。还有一些人，比如说问我，这个后面会不会结婚？他们两个，我也不知道，这个是我写到这儿的。嗯、<笑>对。For me, it's not a, a perfect love story. It doesn't have to be. A perfect love story, and the moral aspect of the film at the beginning, we can't deny that we're dealing with a woman who has done evil things, as the character per se. But we can't blame this character because she lives under the influence of her mother, tradition, and what will they say? Reputation. These are concepts that perhaps. In the West, are understood less so, but are accepted in the East. And what seems to be interesting for me is because they they've been struggling from the beginning to the end for the marriage. That's the interesting side of things. What we don't know is whether they'll get married or not. That is left in the air. 让我感动的创作过程就是每个人在选择他自己。对与错是另外一个事儿，而不是说藏族人会什么样怎么样，就没有一个群体的这个意识在决定这个东西。我觉得是每个个体都在争取他自己的。比如说德基这个扮演的这个拉姆也在争取，他是一个没有文化的一个人，但是他听从他自己内心的感觉，他在选择这个东西是让人这种努力是挺可爱的，也让我感动的。作为普通人。I think that we've all got the freedom to choose and decide what's good or evil if something is right or wrong. In that aspect, I think we should have freedom to do so. The most interesting thing here is the individual per se, that the individual is pursuing and seeking him or herself. They're also struggling. So therefore, Lamu is a woman without culture, with very little education. But she's fighting and struggling in order to to live with those feelings. Then, actually, regarding the end, actually, there are many discussions. Actually, but I have never mentioned this character. That actually, we don't think that this character has. 或者错误，或者说不好的事儿，其实就像导演说的，那人生你都会遇到一些事儿，甚至都不是青春期这个简单的原因造成的。你活在这个世界上，你总会遇到事儿，然后你怎么去面对这个事情，这是很重要的。那其实，呃，刚才大家其实，呃，好多问题都是问这个男一号和女一号的事情。其实这里面有很微妙的东西，就是。呃，我们从这个女女一号的角色来看的话，她其实最后，嗯，她用
去那个呃寺庙的番石去见那个男人的，在法律意义上的前妻，其实，呃，他可能想要了解的，也许是另外一个女人在那种情、那种生活中间。呃，呃，有什么样的一个抉择？最后他跟他也没有直接的交流，但是他用改写赞戏的方式来让自己成长的，这是非常微妙。而他对那个男性的，嗯，最不满意的地方是，其实是那个男人不负责任。也许他的生活中间连续的是遇到的一个男性的责任的问题，而这个。男一号其实他的问题可能是，他没有搞清楚，他选择一个姑娘，他自己作为一个男性要承载什么东西。他最大的困境，他在最是说他怎么从来没有让他的父亲满意过，然后在最关键的时候，他也不能承载自己的责任。其实我觉得他实际上是超越了一些。大家很呃简单的用一些不管是宗教的还是传统文化去讨论的东西，它里面有更微妙的一些表达吧。The producer wanted to add a few things, and that is to say, the end, you know, the end of the film. He, they, he talked a lot with the director himself. They discussed whether the begin. About the beginning of the past of the characters, whether they were right or wrong, or whether they made mistakes or not. But the reality is, these are parts of life. At the end of the day, everyone is going to find a series of difficulties or problems or errors in life. That the the issue is how to cope with them and confront them, and how do you resolve them? So, as regards also the woman at the end, when she goes to the temple, in order to try. To find the so supposed,、uh, the alleged wife of the protagonist, when she goes to see her, she tries through that meeting, which doesn't take place at the end. She tries to understand the feelings and the and that that woman has per se. That is to say, how she's lived that problem from another perspective. The man on the on his behalf. The father of the son is not a man who's responsible, and at the end, that's what's happened to him. That is, he's not be able to assume that responsibility because responsibility because perhaps he had a responsibility towards his to the woman and to the son, and these are the two sides of. Of what happens as regards to the main actors and the main characters. I liked very much that the film we is a shows a very good portrait of that region vis-a-vis -vis spaces, natural and spaces and and exteriors outside location. A lot of the sequences take place within a van, which favors that you see all of these big spaces, but very intense space. Play, uh, scenes take place within the vehicle. I would like to know what's the reason to have chosen that so many scenes take place that are really strong scenes or powerful scenes take place within the van or the little lorry. Uh, nature, many Um, 呃，其实那个什么，其实这个我觉得是男主人公的一个职业的一个，就是这个车是这样的一个选择。当下，而且这种车也是藏地比较流行，这是一个。第二个是我可能用尽方式，之前的片子也是，因为本身我自己是一个藏族人，可能对以往的西藏片有展现，特别展现自然的这种美景的这种东西，我不太感兴趣。我觉得是。呃，之前的片子也好，这现在的片子也好，我觉得可能是对人感兴趣。
这个以往的所有的片子，有关西藏以及是整个青藏高原，其实是真的是因为它自然特别美，所以那对中哪儿都是特别漂亮，但是反而。冷落了人的那种感觉，所以呢，我觉得所有的片子都没有什么空间，一场一个镜头就是实时记录一个人的内心的感觉。这个我自己的一个怎么说呢？拍摄西藏片的一个怎么说呢？也算是自己的一个嗜好吧，对。The uh, small truck is part of the main, one of the main characters' uh, job, and it's typical. As me, as I'm Tibetan, I have the interest of presenting nature and the landscapes of Tibet, which is something very beautiful. But I'm more interested in representing the person's feelings. The person, literally, the person's heart. And if there is a beautiful side to it, that is to say, the nature that I try to portray, but what I wanted to reflect is the feelings of the, of the characters, but internally. Yes. Hi, good afternoon. When we see a film, we've got the feelings and impressions, each of the people that see it, see the film, but I would like to know whether you have, have had any feedback from the Western critics vis-a-vis -vis your film, uh, or from China vis-a-vis, uh, -vis, and specifically from Tibet, and, and these three types of audiences. The, the, the Western audience in general, the Chinese, uh, and then the uh, Tibetan uh, audiences. Have you had any feedback from that? <laughs> 批评家的一些评语不断的吸烟 in saying that we, we've not received any critics because this is today was the uh, premiere in front of an audience. He's received uh, critis, critiques because of personal things from uh, many people, but as a director, uh, a Tibetan director, he's going to continue to work to make films and to and the critics are going to help him to continue and ahead and to forge ahead. Uh. Uh, congratulations for the film, uh, también al festival. Por... Also the festival for programming it. I would like to know, because as I've got this opportunity, I know very little about, but a little bit about Tibet, uh, the difficulties that you had for many of the activities that carried out, that can be carried. Could you tell us about how the film industry is in Tibet, in Tibet, vis-a-vis -vis China, etc.? As much as you can say. What are you referring to? Political problems, the difficulties. It's just like I ask you what the film industry is in. What's it like? In, just like in Spain, to produce. How difficult is it to produce and make films? And vis-a-vis -vis China, I don't know how far they want to go because I think the producer is Chinese, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Um 审查本身是中国是有的
干涉过吧，就是没有提出建议或者是修改，这是没有过，也算是我自己信用吧。<笑>嗯。Since I've been making films, I've made four. I've not had any problems vis-à-vis -vis censorship with these films, and it is true, however, that Tibet is a, a, a province of China. This is something that can't be denied. So therefore, from my experience, I've had no problems, serious problems vis-à-vis -vis any sort of a bureaucracy and vis-à-vis -vis censorship, okay? I'm not too sure whether you would like to add anything, the producers perhaps, or any of you, before we finish. 嗯，我觉得可能呃，对外界来说，就用西藏来代替。其实，呃，中国呃，藏族人生活在主要，他其实分布在除了西藏以外，像导演他是在青海省，然后导演的上一部戏其实是在四川的藏区拍的，然后在云南省也有藏区。他其实中国电影是，呃，他的审查的第一。第一集的单位是由各个省来审查，啊，就是那导演的片子可能就是在青海省审的，他只是到了如果省级这个目前的管理体制是省级，呃，自己觉得拿不准呢，才要到中央政府的电影局来审查。对，除了中国电影现在是除了少数呃特殊的啊、呃、中国的词叫。重大题材，呃，必须由中央政府来审查，其他的都是由各个省的电影主管部门审查就行了。An important thing that the producer mentions vis-à-vis -vis the Tibetans, the people in the West, we generally believe. That only takes place in Tibet, in Tibet, but there are Tibetans and Tibetan culture in Qinghai and Sichuan and Winang in these provinces that I've just mentioned. Censorship or the revision of the films is done firstly provincially. First of all, the director uh, who's the provo the, from the province of Qinghai takes the films to the office to review it within that province once it goes through that filter provincially, it's taken to the central government. But he says, the, the, these are the films that have got important uh, subject matter go to the central government. The rest are examined, but only at a provincial level, okay? Well, okay, well, thank, in that case, thank you very much for having come along and good luck with the film and the film festival.